Welcome to Leeds, a city which has seen plenty of investment over the last decade and over the next decade is almost expected to double in size. But as a conference and meetings destination, it might not be so obvious. There isn't one ginormous venue through which all events must pass. There is an eclectic and diverse mix from arenas and academic venues and of course somewhere like this, the Royal Armouries Museum. Where better then to start our tour of the city and who better to introduce us to the Leeds event scene? Claire Heap is the city's visitor economy manager. So Claire, tell us about the proposition of conferencing in the city. Leeds has a fantastic conferencing proposition to, to organise us. We're located in the epicentre of the north of England, a um, fantastic location where delegates can um, get to us from, from all, all parts of the country. So every time I come to Leeds, you know, something looks different. Tell me about the transformation of the city. Transformation over the last 10 years has been amazing, um, truly fantastic. We're seeing um, expansion of the city centre down onto the south bank, which will hopefully double the size of the city centre over the years to come. We've got Channel 4 based in the city, Bank of England are looking at locating here, so there's, there's lots of exciting things happening. So what's the role of Conference Leeds? How are you going to help organisers? What do you offer? Conference Leeds, we're, we're here to, to help organisers bring their events to Leeds. The team have an immense amount of expertise and, and knowledge about the city. We work totally impartially and we're here to help every step of the way. The Royal Armouries Museum displays the national collection of arms and armour, and Conference organisers can draw their swords here too. So Ben, tell us, what sort of events do you run here? We run a mixture of all sorts. So we've got conferences, banqueting, uh, exhibitions uh, and meetings. So complete mixture. Uh, we've got the largest conference and events venue in Leeds, uh, holding up to 1,200 delegates. Um, and we're really now starting to focus on the exhibition market and association business. So what is it about Leeds? What draws event organisers to the city in the first place? Leeds is a great vibrant city with a great nightlife, great accommodation, um, easy transport links um, and some fantastic venues within the city as well. Now, as any good conference and meetings destination will tell you, it's important to embrace the legacy of the past to ensure the legacy of the future. And in matters of technology, scientific innovation and human pioneering spirit, Leeds has made a contribution itself. In fact, I've got a list. Did you know that oxygen was discovered by the Leeds-born philosopher Joseph Priestley in 1773, no less, in which he also invented carbonated water at the same time? time. Then, in 1909, William Bragg, a physicist at the University of Leeds, first demonstrated the world's first x-rays. As you know, when conference news comes to explore a destination, we like to attend a real event happening in real life to really get a sense of what the event experience is like. And today, of course, is no exception. Happening right here today in the city is CHS, the Conference and Hospitality Show, half of which is happening in the Royal Armouries behind me, and the other half in New Dock. Emma Cartmel, the show's CEO, took time out to tell us more. CHS Leeds is an exhibition for the events industry. So we have uh, hotels and uh, venues and event suppliers from all over the UK exhibiting with us today over two separate halls. Leeds is such a vibrant city in itself and the events industry here is thriving. We've got some amazing hotels, amazing venues and suppliers and uh, as a city itself it really works collaboratively. It's a small city so you can get around it really easily and everyone just really supports us and contributes to the event so it's just it's our, it's our home so we, we love it here. I think Leeds is kind of known for its nightlife as, as well so last night we had our welcome reception at the Queen's Hotel that's just had a 16 million pound refurbishment but beyond there there's bars, restaurants, nightclubs, uh, hotel bars, it's just such a great city. Local knowledge is a valuable thing, and there are few with more local know-how than Wendy Ashton Evans of Pineapple Events. She gives us a flavour of what organisers want. So, Wendy, why do you think Leeds is such a popular destination for your clients? Well, everybody loves Yorkshire, don't they? I think Leeds is not only the best city in, in Yorkshire, but I've seen already somewhere today that uh, it's the epicentre of the north. But the main thing is the transport links for events coming in. Um, it's got to be the trains. What then are your clients sort of looking for? What makes a magic conference experience? Oh, it's got to be your venue, I would say, and look at the 
range of venues in Leeds, you know, from from where we're sitting in a, a cultural Royal, uh, Royal Armouries uh, uh, National Museum to some really good hotels. You know, the investments going into the hotels, the way it's condensed into a, the center of the city, I think, um, is a major plus. If you're organizing a national event, you know, people coming from all over. So let's hear from an organiser. Helen Whittle is the Chair of Communication Matters and a Conference Ambassador for both Leeds and the University of Leeds. So the Communication Matters Conference um, is for all our members. Um, it takes place at the University of Leeds every September and we have representatives from suppliers organisations who supply quite technical, computerised and low-tech um, communication systems for people with complex disabilities. We have lots of members who use augmentative and alternative communication, um, which helps them to communicate when speech isn't possible for them. So we have members who use wheelchairs and um, electronic communication aids who come and enjoy the conference alongside their professional um, support who might be speech therapists, clinical scientists um, and also researchers uh, alongside family members and uh, personal assistants who help them to enjoy the conference. I think because we've been here for quite a few years now, people are familiar with the idea of coming to Leeds. Um, they're familiar with the University of Leeds uh, campus and the um, numbers of accessible uh, rooms for people with significant uh, disabilities, which is great for our members um, to know that they can come and be comfortable. Um, and also the University of Leeds Meeting Leeds team has been able to consult with our members and um, get advice about what makes it work for them, um, so what supports they need and uh, even down to what food is going to work best for them in a conference uh, organisation. They love coming back to Leeds and they've really enjoyed the fact that a lot of the staff um, at the University of Leeds have taken part in the Communication Access UK training, so they're communication aware, very um, able to um, talk to individuals with communication impairments in a respectful um, manner and um, just ask them what they want um, and be really uh, responsive to their needs. So what have we learned today? Well we've learned that Leeds is a city with big ideas and big ambitions and that shouldn't be surprising at all. Channel 4 has recently relocated here. The Bank of England are thinking about setting up an office too as well as the National Infrastructure Bank. The BBC are even talking about hundreds of jobs being relocated to the city as well as new hotels popping up all over the place and a cultural event happening 2023 which really will bring events right to the heart of the city and its people. People. Leeds then is a destination on the move.